what's up everybody i'm back and this is episode number Trey, episode number three hey how you doing you get your groceries you get whatever and you just leave my name's crystal and i've been living in a vehicle for three years and living full-time on the road for a year in my van i was married second marriage and uh the second marriage was not going well we were basically living like roommates and it had been like that for a couple years. So I wasn't happy, he wasn't happy. So we were very, very deep in debt, trying to figure out how can we get out of debt? How can we um, pay what we owe? Anyway, this is a helpathon. <laughs> if y'all can help a sister out financially, I don't normally do this. Y'all know that's not my MO. I started downsizing my own stuff to let him, you know, show him, you know, this we can live with less and live well. And, um, yeah, it is what it is. So when I saw he wasn't on board, I just kept going with the mindset that the marriage was done. And um, watched everything I could on YouTube about tiny houses, and the next thing you know, it recommended van dwelling. What is van dwelling? And so the first three videos, I was like, oh my freaking geez. It's almost like a light bulb, and I was like, I can do that! <laughs> I've got um, some money on PayPal. Thank you to those who sent PayPal money last night and this morning. Dynamite! I just left. Left the husband, left the condo, and hit hit the road. And that was it. Never looked back. To discourage any donations that come in through PayPal, I will greatly appreciate them. Better yet, for a dollar a month, just join Patreon. That's only $12 for the year. And all you, if all you can do is $1 a month for one year, that helps me out greatly. You get a little extra content. Content, content, some content, some content, some content, some content, some content, some content to help pay the bills. I feel like life is really meant to be lived and we're not really living it. We're living for bills. Same old story, same old song and dance. We're living to pay bills. We're living to keep a roof over our heads. Story, same old story, same old song or if there are enough Vanner family members that pull together and get me out. So right now I'm living on my YouTube money. It's not much. It, it, it consistently is right around the 600 to 700 a month mark. Um, I was hoping YouTube would fully support me. It's just not right now. Yeah. It was just a journal for me. If I'm not doing anything that day, I'll just jump on live and we'll just chat. So where was I going to get money to find a hotel for two nights, possibly? There was, there is no more money. I, that's barely enough money to get, you know, gas money. Like, I don't. <laughs> People living the van life. Good to know there are more of us black folk out here on the road. Yeah, there's, there are. <laughs> anyway. All right, I'm going to get off because I'm getting emotional. Bye, family. There are some people who are currently looking for a van. There are some that are in a vehicle or a van. And there are some that are just um, wishing and hoping one day to do it. And there are some that know that they can't do it, but they want to live vicariously through me. So they want to see me succeed. That's horrible. <laughs> it's so funny. My son, yes, last night was like, what is with you and the animals? My mother, my mother is eating animals. What in the world? <laughs> it was like, uh, how are you? How are you? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. What's your name? Linda. Linda! <laughs> Linda, Linda, Linda! And you got a van! Yes. Dollar, dollar. A black woman on the road? <laughs> you don't, I mean, I don't have a problem with, I, if you're Caucasian, you're Caucasian, but we see you <laughs> everywhere. But yeah. you see black people doing things that are fun and that are weird. We can do things too. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's go do some laundry. <laughs> I would have never in a million years thought that I'd be traveling the whole country. Never. I would still be in Virginia if my mindset hadn't been, you know. Me starting a GoFundMe for the new situation that I'm in. To, to live tiny. I would still be stuck there working jobs that I didn't like, you know, disappointed with life.
me starting a GoFundMe for the new situation that I'm in. I think a lot of people are realizing that the American dream is not necessarily everybody's dream. It is not necessarily the only dream. I'm living my dream. It's um, basically, it's a um, telephone actress. Now, what's my name? You need to get a job.